Hi guys, I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. The Chinese knockoff actuator. Easily identified, has no G number laser stamped into the, uh, into the side. It is not a Hella actuator. It does not have, uh, carry the uh, laser engraved uh, number. It is just blank. Let's have a look inside. This is a rebuilt unit. There is zero lateral or axial play in the gear. Gear is very tight. So all the play there is to it, it's actually uh, uh, within, within tolerance. New motor, the gear. This is the Chinese knockoff. As you can see, the gear is a complete mess. All this uh, material you see all over the place, this is actually worn out plastic. The gear is completely stripped, total garbage. The electronic board is a regular PCB, same um, CPU. However, all the components are not. You can see the workmanship. Completely different. I will show you the performance that you would expect from the original versus the Chinese cheap knockoff. Same actuator, but with a rebuilt, but original, Hella Electronics. Exact same actuator as before, same gearbox, same everything, nothing changed. All these electronics. You can see how the original electronics operate the uh, wastegate um, much, much smoother. Pay particular attention to the end of the stroke. It follows through on the full stroke rather than that almost like a blanking distance that the animal has where it just doesn't actuate, it just jumps. It pays to buy original box. Now let's have a look at the performance of the electronics with a rebuilt gearbox. It's important to note here is the jerkiness at the uh, end of the stroke. This is not what you want in your tool lock here. It seems like it loses its, loses its position and just, yeah. It's been doing that on every cycle. We can go back and compare with the proper electronics.